Road Trippin' is brought to you by McDonald's, Hickson Transmission, Speedy's Oil and Auto, and Crown Automotive Group. Crown Automotive Group has provided our official road trip and ride. But what would a great road trip be without fuel? McDonald's has stepped up again this year to keep our tanks full. So let's go. Just a few hours north of Chattanooga, Knoxville is a fun place to start the summer getaways. Here, the University of Tennessee is a sports mecca. As you drive through the campus, you feel the energy that makes up Ball Nation. Don't miss the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Celebrating their 16th year, six new inductees will grace the Hall of Honor. You'll find plenty of memorabilia that includes photos, balls, and uniforms, all preserving the history of women on the court, including ABC's own Robin Roberts. The Women's Basketball Hall of Fame is a, is a great place uh, to come and visit. We are the only museum dedicated in the world to uh, all levels of women's basketball. So whether or not you're a women's basketball fan or not, you should come to the hall enjoy some interactive exhibits, it's, it's great for the whole family. Go ahead, try those skills at sinking a shot, dribbling the pattern, and measuring the jump. Feel part of the locker room as the popular Lady Balls coach Pat Summit goes over the game plan. Check out the original stretch limo belonging to the traveling redheads. All this celebrates and honors the trailblazers of the game. When you're ready for some shopping, a great meal, or to take a break and people watch, make your way over to Market Square in the heart of downtown Knoxville. The renovated, family-friendly space is the perfect place to chill. It's only a few minutes from the World's Fair Park, which boasts the Sun Sphere that served as its 1982 symbol and has easy access to area hotels. Established in the 1860s, it served as a marketplace for regional farmers, the common ground in a town bitterly divided. The area has evolved into the popular multi-purpose venue it is today, and it's listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Take time to slow down and take in the street musicians, or let the little ones play in the fountains. Enjoy the eclectic blend of dining options, and of course, the shopping. Because hanging out is what it's all about. First Fridays are recommended during summer evenings and Saturday mornings bring in the farmer's market. This is the place where tourists and locals mingle. You can't visit Northeast Tennessee without walking on the wild side. The Knoxville Zoo is located four miles from downtown off I-40. It's their largest year-round attraction situated on 53 acres and home to over 800 animals from around the world. Get up close to brightly colored birds in Budgie Landing. Watch our Australian feathered friends fly freely in their habitat. You can feed them seed sticks and don't be surprised if one perches on your shoulder. Well, it didn't happen for us, but they're known for hitching a ride. Here at Knoxville Zoo, we've got more than 800 animals on 53 acres, and we're the largest year-round attraction in Knoxville, but I think that's really because we are so family-oriented. We have so many activities and experiences that appeal to uh, preschool and elementary age children, but even the big kids get into the fun too. Visit with Khaleesi, the young Komodo dragon. They expect him to grow to eight feet, topping out at 80 pounds. Khaleesi may not make the best reptile pet. Also look for the Malaysian tiger, red panda, and white rhinos. Up for a camel ride? Yep, they're available March through October. If you have little ones, take some time to experience Safari Splash Water Park. The We Play exhibit is under renovation and will reopen mid-July. Kids will soon be able to role play in a new way. It's a great diversion to get the kids out of the summer heat. The primates and wildcats will have their new digs within the next two years, showing that the Knoxville Zoo is constantly improving exhibits and habitats, making them as natural as possible.